Joy Behar is getting absolutely obliterated online for some of the dumbest comments that she has made yet on The View. And today, the guest is Mark Cuban. So, as you can imagine, having Mark Cuban and Joy Behar and Whoopi Goldberg, for that matter, all in the same room together, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stupidity going on there and not very many brain cells. So, we're going to get into this today and see what Joy Behar has to say here. This is just laughable at this point, the ridiculous nonsense that they have to say here. So, let's go ahead and check this out and see what is going on you know i've been seeing you on a lot of different shows talking politics yeah. and you're, you're quite uh, good at it i must you. give it to you. Oh, thank you um you're supporting the vice president yes, harris I am. yes i am um, yes i am <laughs> i'm men for kamala <laughs> soy boy <laughs> So is this audience, apparently. <laughs> yes, good. Um, well, t duh, your audience is obviously a libtard audience. Like, come on. Oh my gosh, these people are just ridiculous. Oh, our our hand selected audience of extreme leftists is also very excited for Kamala. Who could have seen that coming? Um, and also, I think that you're very good financially, and we'll have you back to talk about that. But today, let's just talk about this massive gender divide that yeah. we keep hearing about. Uh, I think there's a lot of misogyny out there. I always say if she were a man, she'd be a, it would be like, be totally he'd have different. 10%, yeah. she'd yeah. have 90. Yeah. So, um, what's your... Uh, yeah, how did that work out with Biden? Biden, who is literally running for president just a few months ago, was getting absolutely destroyed in the polls by Trump. How did that work out? How did that work out? And that's the reason why he was absolutely just forced out and w replaced by Kamala without having to earn a single vote. These people are insane. They're so dumb. <laughs> like, it is incredible. So I think it's driven by social media. Mm -hmm. I think that algorithms kind of give you more of what you've already seen. Mm -hmm. And for men, like, I've got three teenagers and my son and their friends. You know, it starts with sports, and then it's something aggressive. Then it turns into, you know, Donald Trump saying this, 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 and this. Uh -huh. Like. See Mark Cuban talking about algorithms is hilarious because he literally just discovered how algorithms work like two months ago. And I'm not even joking. I made a whole video on it when he when he did this. But he he literally discovered how algorithms work like two months ago. And now he's talking about it and super excited about it because now he finally understands how algorithms work. This is absolutely hilarious, man. Like I went and did a podcast and the host was, I was like, it was a Trump fan. I'm like, why do you support him? He was like, he's gangster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you want a gangster well, as president? They left yeah. the word yes. Yes, I do want a gangster as president. Someone who has a record like Trump. Someone who's done good for the country like Trump. Someone who's hated by the deep state like Trump. Someone who has been shot at and stood up and told the people to fight, fight, fight like Trump. Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Yeah, right? <laughs> He's a gangster. A gangster too. Yeah. And, but you just, the way the algorithms yeah. in social media work, whether it's YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever it is, yeah. they give you more of the same and it just reinforces it. And we live in, you know, kids in particular, they live in a meme generation. Mm -hmm. And that's what they see all the time. And that's what's reinforcing it. And it's not like they're going out there, well, let me just confirm that what I'm seeing is actually the fact or truth. Yeah. Right. And so you that's know, I, why. I read that because I think it's, I know it's quite. And who should we listen to for the, for facts and truth? You? You who continue to just spout lies on X coming from the mainstream media talking points? Who should we turn to for truth? The mainstream media? <laughs> <laughs> the war in Norway, they're teaching children to figure out what's real news and what's fake yeah, news. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is a course in Norway. Yes, but so we have important. to teach adults yes. what is <laughs> real news. <laughs> <what is that? laughs> yes, we <laughs> and we're going to come back with more. <laughs> Says Whoopi Goldberg and Joy Behar and Mark Cuban, all who lie constantly about uh, all sorts of ridiculous nonsense that is just not true. All of it is just mainstream media talking points, and we have even debunked some of the lies that they have said in the past on this channel. As you can imagine, they are all getting completely roasted for it on the internet today, which is pretty pretty great stuff, but that's just par for the course for the view. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.